Today is Kick Butts Day. It's a day to raise awareness about smoking and encourage Minnesotans to kick the habit for good. You know, there's been progress over the years, yeah. but smoking is still a serious health problem. A recent survey from Clearway, Minnesota, and the State Department of Health shows about 14.5% of Minnesotans are still smoking. And Minnesota's highest smoking rate, when you look at the different age categories, is adults who are between the ages of 25 and 44 years old. Mm -hmm. So Ann Mason, the Senior Public Affairs Manager for Clearway, Minnesota, is with us on this Kick Butts Day. Nice to have you here, Thank Ann. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Uh, so many warnings. Everyone knows that smoking is bad for mm -hmm. their health. Mm -hmm. It's still the leading cause of preventable death and disease. Why do you think that is? It is. You know, it's a tough habit uh, to kick. It really is, which is why we at Quit Plant Services offer free free stop smoking services to anyone in the state uh, because we know uh, we know that it's tough for yeah. folks to quit. And I think the good news that has come off, come out of this is that the smoking rate is down. Absolutely. It's down. What factors do you think have kind of helped continue to bring that down over the years? A number of factors play into bringing down the smoking rate for both adults and kids. We have historic lows right now of both adults and kids who are smoking. And it's offering free quitting services. It's educating folks through mass media campaigns, which we've been able to do. Mm -hmm. And it's passing policies that support uh, bringing down the rate. Uh, one smoking group. ban, you think? Um, oh, yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Like and just less socially acceptable. Yeah. Um, and the price increase in Taxing. 2013. No yep. doubt about it. Mm -hmm. The cost uh, really affects the young people, it right? Does. It does. We saw that we saw a historic drop after the 2013 tax increase. And that's such an important part too, because part of your your main goal is to help keep kids smoking less. That's that right. we don't have adults smoking as much. That's right. And uh, we know that the tobacco industry is still out there, despite marketing restrictions. Mm -hmm. They still spend more than a hundred million dollars in Minnesota every year marketing their products, and we know that they depend on kids as their next generation of profit. So we're hoping to limit that as much as e possible. E-cigarette use has grown, but we don't fully know exactly what the future of that is going to mean for people graduating into cigarettes or not. That's right. It's it's still a new tobacco we product. Know, yeah. We do. We worry about kids using them because they do come in fun flavors, gummy bear and cotton candy, and that can mask the, the harshness of, of, um, of tobacco. But we also see that research is continuing to show most kids who start with e-cigarettes will then transition to conventional smoking. There are some free services that you guys have to help people quit. What are some of those? So Quit Plan Services is here to help. And we are here not just on this kick butt day, but we also have a great uh, contest coming up for the month of April called the Quit Cash Challenge. So anyone who chooses to quit and stay tobacco free for the month of April is uh, is eligible for a grand prize of $5,000. Hey. That's right. Pretty Whatever it money. takes to motivate That's people, right? right? It, it is, is hard motivator. to do. It is hard but to knowing do. you have all this support behind you, I think, should give people some comfort. Hopefully, right? we yeah. are here to help. Go to WCCO.com slash links. We have more information about Quit Plan Services in Clearway, Minnesota. And here are some of the Kick Butts Day events going on. Three different locations, MCTC, Normandale Community College, and Lake Superior College in Duluth. And thank you. Thanks so much.